and the second lecture of the Penang in Asia lecture series. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Executive Director of Penang Institute, the Honorable Mr. Liu Chin Tong. Yang Amat Berhormat, Lim Guaning, Chief Minister of Penang and Chairman of Penang Institute's Board of Director. Yang Berhormat Abdul Halim, Abdul Halim, Speakers of the Penang State Assembly. YB Professor P. Ramasamy, Deputy Chief Minister of Penang. Professor Sir James Mullis, Guest of Honour. Members of the State Exco. Members, members of Parliament. Members of the State, State Assembly. Members of Penang Institute's Board of Trustees, fellow, fellows of Penang Institute, distinguished speakers and distinguished guests, a very good morning to all of you. Welcome to the inauguration of Penang Institute and the second Penang in Asia lecture. In May 2009, when the Chief Minister of Penang, Mr. Lim Guaning, hosted a private dinner to celebrate the 90th birthday of Penang's second Chief Minister, the late Tun Lim Chong Yu. Tun Lim remarked that the world today felt like it was at the end of the Second World War, when the entire financial architecture needed fundamental rethinking. Indeed, the world is witnessing unprecedented changes previously thought impossible. Who would have foreseen the Arab Spring? Who would have predicted the damage of the March 11 earthquake in Japan? and more importantly, its lasting impact on the way the world thinks about nuclear energy and energy in general. As we approach a new year, we can conclude that the world will remember, will likely to remember 2011, as we remember 1968 and 1989. In each of those years, the world changed beyond recognition. Today, we are here to ponder the future of the world from Penang and to celebrate the inauguration of Penang Institute. Victor Hugo once remarked, you can resist an invading army. You cannot resist an idea whose time has come. While John Maynard Keynes say that the ideas of economists and polit political philosophers, both when they, were, when they are right and when they are wrong, are more powerful than is commonly understood. Indeed, the world is ruled by little else. Penang Institute is a modest attempt to provide a platform for new ideas to flourish and bear fruit through implementation in Penang and beyond. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Chief Minister of Penang and the State Government of Penang for funding the Institute. It is a unique it is unique for any state government to fund such an institution in order to provide alternative policies. I would like to also acknowledge all who have contributed to the Social Economic and Environmental Research Institute, which was established in 1997, including one of its directors, one of my predecessors, Ms. Lim Pao Li and Ms. Uh, Eli Wan. I would also like to acknowledge members of the board including Dato Sri Chet Singh, Dato Sri Nazi Arif, YB Dr. Ramasamy, Dr. Lim Ma Hui, Dr. Leong Yue Kong, Engineer Jatsini, my dear sir, Dato Rosli Jaffa, and who, those who, others who, have, who are present today. I would like to thank Dr. Wu Wing Tai for putting together this program, and all speakers of today for coming this way to celebrate this occasion and to share with us your views. And I would like to thank the, Dr. Ui Ki Bing for editing Penang Institute's magazine for the last two years. I want to acknowledge Dr. Bridget Welsh for her role in reviewing Siri's work and putting together a paper for Penang Institute to move forward. To fellows, at Penang Institute, Dr. Gao Ban Li, Dr. Chan Huan Chang, Dr. Sri Lim Chong Ket, Dr. Muhammad Abdul Khalid, and others, I thank you very much for your contribution. And I thank the staff of Penang Institute for all your contributions, your hard work, and as well as making today possible. Finally, I thank all of you here for making this a great event. Thank you very much.
Thank you, the Honorable Mr. Liu Chintong.